With North Korean troops training for what Pyongyang calls a state of war with South Korea, Secretary Kerry says Washington and its allies will not be caught off guard. The United States will do what is necessary to defend ourselves and to defend our allies, Korea and Japan. Uh, we are fully prepared and capable of doing so. And I think uh, the DPRK understands that. South Korean Foreign Minister Yung byung se says Seoul and Washington are united against these threats. Both Secretary Kerry and I agree that North Korea should abandon its nuclear ambitions and bellicose rhetoric. North Korea says it will restart a plutonium reactor and uranium enrichment plant that was disabled as part of a 2007 deal with China, Japan, Russia, South Korea and the United States. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un says atomic power is central to his country's survival. Our nuclear strength is a reliable war deterrent and a guarantee to protect our sovereignty. He says that's a foundation for economic growth. It is on the basis of a strong nuclear strength that peace and prosperity can exist, and so can the happiness of people's lives. Kerry says restarting the Yongbyon reactor would be a very serious step. That in itself would be a breach of international standard requirement. It would be a provocative act uh, and uh, completely contrary to the road that we have traveled all of these years. China is crucial to staying on that road to a negotiated settlement, and Beijing appears to share Washington's concern. We call on all sides to be calm and exercise restraint and return as soon as possible to the path of talks and consultations to appropriately resolve the issue. An issue key to Kerry's upcoming trip to the region. The secretary will be discussing uh, the DPRK's provocations on all of his stops in Northeast Asia uh, next on his trip next week. This will be very much front and center and particularly in Beijing. North Korean aggression may be pushing China closer to U.S. calls for tougher action against Pyongyang, says American University professor Pei Kun Heng. I think the Chinese may be more amenable, you know, to the U.S. line on North Korea and maybe putting more pressure on the, on the, uh, on the North Koreans. North Korean leaders say nuclear weapons are the nation's life and are not to be traded even for billions of dollars in aid. Scott Stearns, VOA News at the State Department. Mm -hmm.